Welcome back to Creatures, Caverns, and Crafting. Today we're going to craft ourselves some mutated centipedes. We're going to start with this uh, bag of creatures I got from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to turn these uh, plastic insects into uh, mutated killing machines. I'm going to start with some XPS foam. I have a plastic base and of course a centipede. I'm just going to start arranging the model on the base. Um, going for a unique pose, maybe up a wall or maybe even down the wall. Uh, my other model is going over a hill. I'm just looking for something unique to grab the player's interest. So once I've gauged the length of XPS foam I want to use on the base, I'm going to cut it down and then I'm going to start uh, plucking the edges away with my fingertips here. This is just going to create some very jagged grooves into uh, the XPS foam and it's going to make it more natural when we go to paint this up to look like a wall. To give some texture to the smooth surface of the XPS phone, I'm going to take a ball of aluminum foil and just go over it. If you don't have any foil on hand, you can use a rock and get the same results. This is going to look very good when we go to put paint and washes and then do a dry brush over it. We're going to glue the XPS foam and cork board to the base using some hot glue. Um, as you can see here, I've added some cork to another base and uh, this is creating an interesting look for the centipede. Uh, it almost looks like it's menacing or it's about to attack our players. I'm going to take some Mod Podge mixed with black paint and apply it to the XPS foam. This is just going to give it some extra strength. I'm also going to take some cork board and apply it to the base. Next I'm going to take some Vallejo Earth Texture Acrylic and just paint it around the base, around the cork board. And then I'm going to prime that cork board with a black and the XPS foam with a dark gray. Next I'll be uh, priming the centipedes in a white, allow that to dry. And while I'm allowing that to dry, I'll go ahead and apply a dark wash to the XPS foam in the base itself. After that's dried, I'll apply a light gray as a dry brush and then I will take a orange paint and start painting the legs and the underneath of the centipede. Next I'm going to take this Citadel purple paint and I'm just going to start uh, applying this to the carpace of the centipede. Um, I'm just going to take a regular brush and I'm just going to uh, put a little bit on the brush and as you're going to see I'm just touching the individual sections uh, what I want to do is just apply a light coat I don't want to have a buildup of paint on the carpets now when you're doing this keep in mind that if you make a mistake if you get it on the orange uh, that's no problem we can always go back with some more paint cover that up and also when we go to use a wash we're going to uh, tie a lot of this together and that'll also cover up some of the uh, spillage that you might have Once our purple is dried, we're going to move on to this Agras Earthshade. If you don't have a Citadel paint like this, you can mix up your own brown wash. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just start freely uh, putting this wash all over the model. Um, remember, our goal here is to um, pick out the details of the centipede. Uh, we want to show each one of those car pay sections. Um, also, this is going to cover up a lot of the mistakes we might have made earlier. Um, one key point here is if you feel like you've got too much on a certain section, you can always go back and dab this off and put it onto a napkin. Um, it's really easy to work. And don't worry about getting this on the base. Uh, it'll just blend in when we go back over it. I took E6000 to adhere the miniature to the base. Uh, basically, I'm putting it at two points, uh, one to the cork board and one to the XPS foam and allow that to dry. So we're going to start to add some highlights and I'm going to go back to this uh, dark purple I used earlier and I'm just going to grab a, uh, a regular brush and just get a very light amount of paint on there and I'm just going to start applying this to the car paste. Uh, remember we want to stay away from the uh, dark recesses of the car paste. We still want that detail. Uh, this is just going to lighten things up. Um, if you might have got too much wash on a certain spot, this is going to help uh, blend that or get rid of it altogether. Uh, we're just going to go up the car paste like so and take your time, again, very light paint uh, and allow this to dry. I'm going to use a Kiwi Green by Apple Barrel for my next step. 
we're going to just use a small detail brush. And what we're going to do is we're going to load up the brush and start applying this to the eyes. This is going to give it a uh, nice uh, radioactive look maybe, or maybe like the eyes are glowing in the dark. And again, when we're putting this on, uh, if it doesn't go on in one coat, that's fine. Uh, like I said before, we'll just let it dry. We'll put a secondary coat on it. And one of the other things I like about doing this is you can create a couple of these. I have two here just for this project, but uh, we have a whole bag full. So you can literally just do like an assembly line with these. And once we're done, we'll allow that to dry, maybe apply a second coat, and then we'll move on to sealing it. We're going to go outside and start applying this tester dull coat to the model. Um, once you're through painting, you're going to see that it's going to have a, a glossy shine to it. Uh, this is just going to give it a more matte finish. Um, I like the look of this. Um, it won't be uh, so fake looking. It'll actually make this look a little bit more uh, realistic and it'll make those details pop. Our last step is going to be applying uh, some flocking to the base. In this case, I used a leftover uh, skull from a miniature and I also had some moss. Uh, if you don't have those, uh, you can get stuff from outside, uh, twigs, rocks. Um, just be creative when doing this. Let's go ahead and take a look at it on the table. I'd like to say thank you for watching my video. Um, I'm going to continue to make more videos like this. Uh, as always, please like, subscribe, and follow. And more importantly, have a great and wonderful day.